Howdy, this is Lemmy with RevZilla, here to talk to you today about the Mustang Codlin Daytona 2-up seat for Harley. You should be checking out a Codlin 2-up Daytona for your bike if you're looking for a low-slung custom seat look on your Harley. Now these are currently being cranked out in the 2-up configuration for touring bikes only, late model stuff. So I would encourage you, like always, poke your bike information into our bike finder. We're going to show you the part number that fits your bike exactly so you get the seat that's good for your rig on the first order. Installation on these is very easy, one beard and our beard scale of difficulty. We'll talk more about that in just a second. First though, let's kick off with who this seat is all about. So firstly, this seat's being made by Mustang. Mustang is a major seat manufacturer. They've been in the game for many, many decades. They build really, really high quality saddles. Now we can flip over to the Codlin side of the equation. Despite the fact that you may think that that name means this thing's going to be Codlin your ass, that's not exactly who we're talking about here. Instead, we're talking about Len and Fred Codlin, a pair of custom German bike builders, real big on the other side of the pond. They're kind of analogous to the American Ness family. It's a father-son duo. They're definitely passing the bike knowledge down the line. Mustang knows how to make fantastic seats. The Codlins have a great eye for style. The two teamed up, and this is what they came up with. The Mustang Codlin Daytona 2-Up. So as I had mentioned earlier, this is a low-slung custom seat. What that means is this thing is going to be built primarily for beauty rather than comfort. It's not at all an uncomfortable saddle, but if you are looking to put in a 1,000-mile-plus day, this might not be the best tool for the job. So let's talk about how Mustang is actually building this seat, give you an idea of what the construction qualities are that make this thing a top-notch first-tier seat. We're going to start that out actually by flipping this baby over and kind of look at the guts of it. So the place I like to start when I'm assessing a seat is always the seat pan itself here. Mustang is using fiberglass on the Codlin Daytona here. Fiberglass is a really excellent material. It doesn't rust. It also provides a nice firm foundation for the seat. Think of this as the seat's skeleton. And kind of counterintuitively, a really firm base is actually the best way to build a seat. And the reason for that is the base isn't moving around and sagging. Instead, it's providing a nice firm foundation that doesn't budge, upon which the rest of the seat can be built and built to be comfortable. Now, while we're under here too, let's point out a couple of other features. Note these rubber bumpers all along the saddle. Those rubber bumpers actually serve two purposes. The first is to isolate your paint. Uh, rather than letting the seat pan rest directly on, say, your frame paint or your fender paint, beat it all up. These will sort of help slow that wear. The other reason these things are kind of nice to have too is given that they are rubber, they actually stand the seat up just a little bit and help to isolate you from the shaking and quaking of the motorcycle. So really they're serving a couple of different functions there. Notice too, this seat cover is also held down with these aluminum rivets. Now this is kind of a nice way of doing things for two reasons. Aluminum rivets don't rust, that's always awesome. And the other thing that's cool about having these riveted in place is that the seat cover stays nice and taut. It looks like a nice fresh seat all the way through the seat's, seat's life. So let's flip this over, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. You can see how smooth and taut this cover actually looks on here. Marine grade vinyl, which actually wears really, really well. Now one item of note with marine grade vinyl, Mustang included something with this seat that I don't see often on their seats, and that's this puppy. It's actually a rain cover for this saddle. Now despite the fact that this thing is actually marine grade vinyl and the vinyl can hold up to water, notice this cool custom pattern on here, the thing that actually makes the Codlin Daytona the Codlin Daytona. You can see this cool hole pattern here, we've got perforated leather panels here, and then also you'll notice too all this custom stitching on here. Unfortunately, that custom stitching does come at a little bit of a price. Each one of those stitch holes is a possible ingress point for water. So that is something to remember. So if you're out and about on your bike and you're going to leave it parked and it could potentially rain, having that thing on there will save you from having a soaked ass on the way home. Now installation on this baby, as I had mentioned, one beard on our beard scale of difficulty. There is a single point of attachment at the rear of this seat. Very easy to get this thing on and off. You're really just going to undo your fastener on your bike, slide the tongue out, pop the new one in. You should be on the road in 15 minutes if you're riding a touring bike. I really like this seat. It's a good looking saddle. I think it's a nice mix of comfort and looks, but don't take my word for it. Click that info button. Check out what some other touring riders are thinking about the Codlin Daytona. If you need a little bit more help, you didn't see, you didn't get the answer to the question you needed to solve there, make sure you talk to one of our gear geeks, 877-792-9455, or of course you can always drop us an email too. CS, Rosilla.com. I'm Lemmy, I'm out of here.